Greetings from Mucus Asylum Stadium in Luniapolis, Craziana, where fans are burning effigies of GM crying pigskin in protest of his latest trade that sent three players to Grim Bay in exchange for a sack of toasters. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle the insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. He's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. And this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down and forever. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. The 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. 
third and four. He picks up a two. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. First and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Second and three. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Third down and five. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and ten. the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And the defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. First and ten. He's not going down. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second and three. 
That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three. position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one the return man catches the ball and heads up field oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home and it's first and ten It counts for three, and the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second down and seven. Second down and more than the QB would like. The nastiest dirty trick in the NFL is... Don't 
try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And the defense recovers the ball. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class. But as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And the offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is gonna get ugly fast. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. No, no. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Ugh, wish they could pee for me, too. He oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you butts. Second down and ten. Boom! And that'll bring up third and one. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. 
second down and six. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he punched his way up, and that's him good old fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room. And we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go with a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch. And he turned. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. He picks up 10 yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Eight. That's a gain of 
gains seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. for 10 yards. Second down in inches. There's an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Third down in a sliver. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> that's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second down in a very lot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. First down. And 
and it's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. That's just a great run for a touchdown. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. Third down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Third down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the defense was reading him like a book. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. To an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and the punter is warming up. Man, how did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. This guy's so fast he can strike lightning twice. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And the I ate a piece of 
licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Second down and five. And Chainsaw's really in the way of extending the red zone. Go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turds on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and three. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what? He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball? Maybe if they used their last time out. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. The defense takes its final time out. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. And it's first and ten. <laughs> First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I hope the Colts walk away victors today. Yeah, except for that one guy down the field with his head knocked off. The
entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a few of the teams should get a participation award because you know, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. See that, little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Too fast. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.